Today on What Went Wrong, you finished your film. Now what do you do with that shit? Hi, I'm Rhett Mauser, and uh, today joining us are two iconic icons of Ponderous Productions, Jeff Price How you doing? and Carlos Leos, who have, uh, uh, you've both known, your, known about each other for uh, 17, 18 years. Crazy. 2002. That's and crazy. And last night was the first time you guys actually were face to face. Yeah. Bananas. It, it's, it, it's been a long time coming. And thank goodness. And yesterday was a great premiere for any, for a great great event for it because it was a fantastic event. Yeah. Uh, for those who are interested, we just uh, premiered Lady Lawman last night. Uh, this place was pretty much a disaster this morning. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we did have a put of a party last night. <laughs> we got which, it on, uh, you know. Which is going to uh, uh, bring us to today's topic: premieres. premieres. Uh, I've uh, uh, I've talked. I, I I've recommended doing premieres in in what went wrong episodes before. Usually, my little solos. I've talked about how you can show your appreciation to actors. But uh, since coming fresh off of a premiere, I'd like to talk to to people a little bit what to expect from one and yeah. how you know how to go about it, and uh, uh, dispel some of the the myths and whatnot. First one uh, I probably want to throw out there is you're not going to make any money. <laughs> <laughs> New um, you go spend something though. I'm telling you that right now. Yeah, uh, no, I like to, you know, I, I could probably go even bigger on my premieres, you know, by, by renting red carpets and getting stand-ups and all of this, but it's just, uh, you know, when, when it's just me doing it, I, I mean, it, it, it's a, it's a... And honestly, the, the, I mean, this is actual credit to the, I guess, to the acting, to the group of people that you hang out with. That's a little bit pretentious for most of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a couple... That would be like, oh, uh, with their phones and stuff and taking pictures and stuff. Nah. But most of the people you hang out with just aren't pretentious enough to enjoy it. Never. Nobody that we know here would ever be like that. <laughs> okay, maybe one or two. <laughs> <laughs> That's on another episode. We cut, we cut to the streaming of his live feeds from before, after, during, middle, pictures of him. I'm, I'm sitting right behind him and I'm watching him you know, in the middle of the movie. Every time he comes up on screen, his phone comes up. And he's taking pictures of his scenes on the big screen. He's like, well, he's probably like, I cannot believe that's me. <laughs> no, I could not get a picture. Is what I was like. I can't get a picture of me. I, I'm trying to get my face on the screen, man. I think at one point his flash went off. Yeah, and I was because I, I saw this like a, it was, <laughs> I was done after that. I was like, oh man, I know the rules of the theater. Man, these people are gonna jump me at my own premiere. Man, that ain't good. <laughs> that was fun. It was good. It was, you know, like you said, it was a really good event. I, I mentioned that earlier uh, this morning as well. It was a really good event. Yeah, the, you don't have to spend a whole lot of money to have a great time. I mean, honestly, the way I describe it, plus it being from Texas, it's like, look, have a barbecue at your house, and everyone go watch a movie, and then come back and have drinks. Yeah, and that's what that's what I did. You know, especially if it's a if it's an evening premiere. I think we we premiere at six thirty. Yeah, uh, open up the doors at six. Had a little bit of a pre show. Um, but uh, I'll have a barbecue beforehand. Yeah. Yeah, I'll say, yeah. hey, 2 o'clock, everybody come on over. Uh, there are metric tons of dead animals on the thing. Yes. And, and I always get too much because I'd much rather have too much food than not enough. Because yeah. I, you know, even, even Friday night, I'm getting tech, you know, text or emails. Hey, we didn't RSVP, but we are going to be able to make it after all tomorrow. Well, is that okay? It's, yeah. Yeah, sure, it's a good man, thing I bought 3,000 pounds of uh, dead well, it's cow. It's not like we're not going <laughs> to eat it. Yeah. You know, you yeah, have some pretty good eaters around here. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm sorry, y'all, about the food that we ate. <laughs> sorry. I'm not sorry at all. It Fuck was you. good. It was good. It was cool. It was it was cool to see uh, a lot of the people that were uh, that were in the film. You know, that we were before that I didn't recognize, and a lot of them didn't recognize me because I'm kind of always changing my looks and you know things like that. So you know, it was really cool seeing them. And uh, you know, getting to see them before the premiere, and then hanging out with them after the premiere and stuff—it was cool. Yeah, and sometimes you get to uh, meet for the first time people that you were in the movie with. Yeah, you know, like like after the day when Sergio and Trey never met in the entire movie, but you know, when we had a little screening party, that was the first time they met. You know, yeah, um, because movie magic isn't. It, sometimes you don't watching it, you wouldn't think these guys were never in the same city, not in the same state most of the time. Yeah, you know? yeah. 
So generally, when you when when you when you finish a film, you have a little premiere, and what I'll do is I'll contact I, I, for the for years, over a decade, I've I've gone with Alamo Draft House, uh, and it's a it's a venue for those that aren't familiar with it. You know, you can order your burgers, and you, they, it has food as well. As well. Plug. <laughs> um, and and we we had all uh, the first the first time we we, we we were there was the Innocent Saga. Yeah, and we screened the Innocent Saga there, and from then on out, we and uh, we would uh, screen all the Innocent Saga movies there, and then every other movie in between. And when we had Chapter Ten of the Saga, uh, Liz, who was the the, the the promotions manager, I guess, bought us a big cake, nice. had champagne, oh, everything that's nice for one. us. Um, yeah, so they, you know, and then and then she left, and then you know the the. the the way they handle it changed, so it's you know it's a little bit more formal now, I guess. Uh, but yeah, oh, you will so be much paying better. for yeah. <laughs> Nowadays, when you do that, you have, you're basically paying a rental fee of the uh, of the the, the theater. Um, and this particular normally I'll charge about ten bucks per ticket, but that because what 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 I'll do is I'll see how many how many seats we have. And then, because I just I just want to be able to pay for the theater, mm-hmm. you know, and, and not have to go too far into my own pocket. Um, and then, so, but this time, because of COVID, they have to have they have to half their capacity. So my ticket prices had to go up a little bit, and people are understanding of that, and you know, we'll still you know chip in. Um, and then, of course, you know the the, the after party and the the, the the barbecues. That's all you know. That's all me. But I enjoy doing that. Yeah. It's 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 the it's a little bit of appreciate you know a, a little way that I can show my appreciation to the actors. Right. Come on over and have some food. Yeah. <laughs> and then hang out and have. And a it's not time. like Texans don't like to have a good excuse for a barbecue. Yeah. Why well, are we having a barbecue? You know, April. Oh, oh yeah, April. Yeah, hell yeah. You know. It was a good time, and uh, the Mazaritas are phenomenal, by the way. Let me just <laughs> plug. Well, I got to shout out to my father for that one. That's oh, yeah. his recipe. That's his design. Yeah. Hey, shout out to the Mausers. <laughs> shout out to the Mausers. I miss them, man. I want to see them again. It's been forever, man. I... Shout out to the Mausers. <laughs> the captain, the original Captain Mauser, I guess, technically. Well, they, we, we, they still talk about that to this day. When We go, uh, you came, we were, I think, in the middle of shooting Bad Mojo one yeah. year. And, yeah. and you were down during Thanksgiving. So I said, hey, it's gone out, come, you know, come to Thanksgiving dinner with my folks. Yeah. And you walked in with your Eagles ja- yeah. sweater on, jacket. It was amazing. Jacket. Jacket. I just got that jacket. Boy. My dad looked at you up and down and left. I don't know what was going through your mind at that point, but then he comes out with a Steelers sweater on. <laughs> that was fun, and you know what? It, that was that was cool because obviously I was out of town. I was I was in from out of town working on that film, and so to be invited, you know, to somebody's place for Thanksgiving. Otherwise, I just would have been in the hotel, you know, eating some ham sandwiches or something, you know. And so we can't so, have that. No, man, and and they didn't, and the Mausers did, definitely did not have that, man. They no. they took care of me, man. I, it was like royalty when I went to the Mausers, man. I couldn't <laughs> believe it, man. You t- yeah, you come to if you're if you're. I had a friend of mine. Uh, well, this past Thanksgiving, he was a guy I was in uh, flight school with, and he was uh, had to work over Thanksgiving, which sucks. And I was home, and so I was like, uh, you know, hey, where are you staying? I'm at the so and so. I was like, well, I'm gonna be there at freaking you know ten o'clock in the morning. Get your ass up. We're gonna have Thanksgiving dinner at my house. And he's like, oh, I don't want to impose. He's like, this was not a request. Yeah. I was not asking you if you want to come to dinner. <laughs> I was telling you your ass better be outside that goddamn hotel at ten o'clock in the morning, or I will walk in there and drag you out by your hair, kicking and screaming. Do not screw with me. You know how I get. Dang. And he's like, yes sir, yes sir. And, and he comes over to the house, and we have Thanksgiving dinner. Um, he skyped his wife. He's got wife and three kids up, you know, in uh, in uh, Utah, and they we had the little thing, and that was so he got to. His wife was assured that he got to have a good meal, and mm-hmm. because that's how we are, and so the premieres are kind of like that, and yep. family's kind of yep. like that. It's, no, it was... it's one of these things to where it helps bring your actors, even as, even if they, if they if they've been doing it for a while, even if they're brand new, it's even more important because it teaches them in effect that you can do these premieres and you can have this stuff, but it's more than just making the movie. It's about making the memories. It's about being a part of something that's important. And it gives them a great appreciation for what they're doing, for, see, the, for the craft. See, I think that's you, I think you touched on it right there, you know, be, being a part of something. You know, it's, it's uh, you know, obviously the ponderous world just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Uh, the not-so-sane world, sorry. Yeah, um, you know, you know, it, it, it just keeps growing, obviously, you know, but but it's like once once you became a part of that, it was just like 
everything just kind of became inevitable. You know what I mean? Like, like you know, when you having then, a barbecue, I, I showed up, you know, to spend the night. Didn't even ask. And I thought about that. I was like, dang, I ain't even ask if I can crash here, man. They ain't got no hotels, man. <laughs> he was like, yeah, man, just a long breed of her. Whatever. You know, so it's just, you just, you automatically kind of become a part of that. And then once you, you become have, part of the world. Right. And then your actors, other actors, they, they come up and says, oh, my, and they're going to talk about that's just one dude. I had the thing. We did the stuff. And they had it. And I was like. I want to work with that guy. Yeah. And so then you've got other people and then they'll go to go tell somebody, oh, I went to this one guy and we had a good time on the set and the movie was, uh, the movie was whatever. The movie could suck. The movie could be great. The movie could be whatever it was. Doesn't matter. Just, but they had a premiere and we got to go to the draft house or wherever. And then we had barbecue and we hung out. And they had got a to great see the time. world. Like they, they got to, add, they're actually people from and outside then, and that's how the world grows. And, and they're like, I want to be a part of it again. I yeah. want to do that again. I want to be in this organization. I yeah. want to work with these guys. And it makes them want to work harder and be better and be a better actor for you, the filmmaker. It is, it, it's one of these weird things that no one thinks about, but it is supremely important to be able to get yourself known and, 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 and out there and you may have crap actors at first, but if everyone's having a great time, then more better actors are going to start showing up because they're used to dealing with, you know, you know, Dick Nunnuts who doesn't, you know, he does his stuff and maybe he gets it out, maybe he doesn't, but no one ever, and just, and they're like, that, that sucked, I hated that. But then they come over to a, a not so sane production and the movie could be whatever it was. Now, this movie that you just did, Lady Lawman, we could go on about that, but that's not the subject we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Even if the movie's horrible, and even if the even if the premiere, they're going to be that was awesome. I want to be a part of that again. I mm. want to do that again. And you know, they're going to say, "Yeah, Brett's doing this thing. We're doing a thing." He's like, "Can I be a part of it? I want to do that. Can I do this?" I, I mean, and so you get a bigger group of better actors who are willing to work that much harder for you. It's and it's you can't you can't pay for that. Yeah. In this in this we can't pay for anything anyway. But I mean, you, it's hard to pay for you. That is kind of publicity and the kind of stuff that businesses would kill to have in certain cases, to have a brand loyalty to you, to them, to somebody else. That's just not there. And you build that brand loyalty by being this way with your actors, by treating them as a part of a family. Now, families squabble, families get in arguments, families fight. That's fine. And I'm perfectly okay with having a fight with my family. Then you and I can have a disagreement, you and I can have a disagreement, and y'all can have disagreements. But at the end of the day, we all come back together because, well, yeah, but I'm part I'm part of the partner's family, you know. <laughs> and if they decide to leave, go with God. We're you know, we're you yeah. know, we're happy to have you and thanks for coming out and 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 they'll always go out and says, "Yeah, but man, those parties they had. And those premieres <laughs> were so much fun." <laughs> He had so much food, and it was such a good time, and I kind of miss that. <laughs> and at the end of the day, they make me like, you know what? F it. I want to go back and do that again. That was awesome. It's, it's not cheap pub publicity, but it is necessary. And honestly, it's, it's a good. party. Yeah, yeah. Who yeah. does a little party? Yeah. I mean, we have people who do this just for the premiere. Right. You know, just for the Ernest. He's just like, just, give me, <laughs> I just, you know, just make a movie just so we can have shout, a beer again. Shout out to Ernie. <laughs> shout out to we'll Ernie. We'll just be like, well, you want me to do what? That's fine. We'll, How be, many we'll times? be a party afterwards. We'll yes. be a party. Right just, there. I can squeeze the F word into your movie like 87 times. I'm good with that. A party you may never actually make it to, but, you know, it's all right. At least it's in your honor. <laughs> Fun times, man. Well, from a, for, for, for a film... For filmmakers who may be wondering, well, I don't have that kind of money to do this or that. Well, you know, the, that, that's what I would say to me the only benefit for film festivals nowadays. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I will uh, I'll get on my soapbox or whatever you want to say. But first, I'll recommend a film called Official Rejection. And it's some filmmakers who were, who, you know, who were showing the festival route, you know, how they got into some festivals and what happened at the festivals. And how, you know, they, they, they got accepted in like three or four. And then they'd have to argue. And they couldn't go to this film festival because it wanted premiere status. And they had got this one in first. And this one was going to have premiere status. And they said, well, you got to pick one or the other because we want premiere status. Well, okay, they accepted us first, so we're going to go with them. All right, well, we're not going to screen your film now. Wow. And, and then they go, and two people would be in the audience. And I have been in several film festivals. Um, you know, from, from international festivals like uh, 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 Louisville International Film Festival. We got in there. 
because of our distri distributor. And that's one of the big myths is people think that you're going to get, get your film to uh, per bought at these film festivals. Usually, they've already made the deal. Mm -hmm. And the distributors are the ones getting the films into yeah. the festivals. Yeah. The other festivals uh, are going to be there for people to still have their premieres and yeah. be able to show the film publicly. Yeah. And usually it's just going to be the stars anyways, right. you know, the, the, you know, the cast and crew anyways. Yeah. Um, so that's one place, you know, that's a way to get a premiere or whatever. And if you don't ever have an official premiere, but you accept it, get accepted into a local film festival where all of your actors can actually get to, yeah. call that the premiere. And, yeah. you, know, I, you know, they may not be able to call it, you know, the, the premiere of Lady Lawman or whatever. Yeah. But... The cast and crew will know. Hey, this is our premiere. We're yeah. gonna get to see it. It's that's fascinating to hear about that from from this side of it. You know, um, to to really kind of see how that works because, you know, from from this side of the camera, or from the actor's perspective, let me say it that way. Um, you know, you you I, I never really consider all of those things. You know, that go into that. You know, obviously the marketing and you know the importance yeah. of, of be, being able to get that publicity and making sure that things go well. You know, obviously that's you know those are kind of a given. Um, but I never really considered, you know, the, you know, the importance of, you know, which direction do I go with this? And, you know, ha I got to have a premiere because it has to, you know, work this way and they're only going to accept this because it, so it's really fascinating to hear yeah. about that, especially from, you know, from a lot, a lot that I've been learning and starting to get into filmmaking as well. Um, credited to Brett William mm -hmm. Mauser, by the way, Captain Mauser. Um, but, uh, you know, so it's, it's, that's, that's really, really fascinating. And then, and then especially coming right off of a premiere. You know, to kind of hear about it that way, because even last night I didn't, I didn't consider it that way. Mm -hmm. All I was saying, all I was running around last night thinking about was marketing. You know, right. I was like, "Hey, man, get that up on the billing, man. How come it? Do, that's it, private event. No, it, 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 put that up on the top, man. How we do that? You know, so and <clears throat> so, you know, again, so to 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 hear it from from that perspective, coming right from the premiere, and you know, just kind of seeing the difference now and understanding it in the questions that were being asked, you know, during the Q and A section, you know. Uh, uh, timing and you know the you know just actually seeing everybody now yeah. kind of going back and thinking about that and thinking about that setup it's like dang man that that really really makes a lot of sense it's fascinating yeah. and that that's uh, uh, there'll be times that you, like this this past month or so you've you've emailed me kind of talking about film festivals hey you got to get this yeah. film festivals yeah. and when I when, when I get the email. And, and I know he probably thinks I'm just uh, blowing him off and I'm just, uh, just yeah. being an asshole. Yes, exactly. Right? Because I'll just send these one sentence. Well, it's this, you know, yeah. it's too late. Look. Because I'll sit there and I'll go, <laughs> I have to expect, I'm going to have to explain this. And it's going to take me five pages <laughs> of 10 paragraphs each page to explain this. Yeah. There's, so there's, I'm just going to tell Doug, well, it's this. And then he'll, well, what do you mean? Oh, God <laughs> damn it. It's well. It's because of the premiere status, or because you know this the Amazon. Right? Hold what do you up. mean? <laughs> Hold up! I'm not so. Question. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Well, you know what? Next time I'll just do this. I don't know what went wrong and explain to it. Why is the sky blue? Yeah, man. In particular, in this particular case, you're right. Lady Lawman is one of those that I think would just be great for festivals. However, there is there's the premiere status. Yeah. Which, if I want to get it out there on our website and on Amazon, 80% of film festivals are now not going to accept us yeah. because it has premiered publicly before. And so many of my films in the past, I've waited six months until after the film festival circuit to put it out. Mm. However... At this particular junction in time, A, I don't know how long Amazon's going to continue accepting films from, from guys like us, so I want it out there as quickly as possible. They're all, they've already said no more short films and no more documentaries. They're not mm. accepting any more of those. So it's like, the only okay, thing I'm going to watch on Amazon. I don't give it a yeah. um, Second, we are, we are coming out of a drought of Hollywood. Yeah. You know, movies, uh, the, the weekend before, yep. we were going to premiere, I think, the, the, the weekend before, but Godzilla came out. Mm -hmm. And they said, well, your pr the price of the theater is going to be double that weekend. Yeah. I was like, whoa, can I just do it the weekend after? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so let me do that. Um, so films are starting to come out a little bit. so well. Yeah. yeah. Films are starting to come out again. So if I wait another six months, I don't have that advantage of a new film going up on you know Amazon. Yeah. So it that's a judgment call that I have to make, and and I do think that Lady Lawman would did, would have done very well in the festival circuit, and I will probably send to a couple film festivals yeah, that I was don't have say, premiere statuses like it, yeah. that aren't going to require a, a premiere status, but 
that does harm you in that. And that is a, you know, and, and that's why it's sort of like trying to explain that in just like an email or a text. No, it's I'm cool, like, man. Again. It's Amazon. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> no, again, man. I mean, it, you know, just it. sitting here thinking about it, you know, it, it just, it clicks. It, it makes so much more sense. And again, going back to seeing it last night really brings it together. Man, it was like the, the having the conversations about people ask me questions. This is, okay, do you want the short answer or the long answer? Oh, the short answer. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And that's it. They kind of go, but what do you mean? Like, well, is, is that it? All right, let me, let me get my chalkboard. This is yeah. going to take a while. Well, you know, explain. From, a, from a, you know, kind of, kind of comedically, but kind of not. Um, you know, from, from a perspective of, of, of an actor, you know, that's, that's an, it's important, right? Like, you know, hey, how, how are you, how are you going to, how are you going to market me? You know, I'm ready for my close up, Mr. DeMille. Well, yeah, you know? but, but at the same time, I, I have worked with so many actors that, that when, when, when there's that sort of, I don't want to say attitude, attitude's the wrong way, but yeah, yeah. That, that attitude of, are you, how that are you thought. going to market yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I, I, f- you. I, I yeah. you know, because so many actors don't market our films, they yeah. don't promote the films. Yeah. How, you know, 90 to 95% of our actors don't po- don't even post the trailer on their Facebook page. Yeah. Wow. And it's, and, and at a point it's like, all right, I guess it's going to be everybody, every man for himself. No. So again, that, you know, that just, again, it just makes so much more sense because, you know, just from the perspective of someone from the side of the camera, you know, it's kind of like. You know, you, well, you want to put this, especially when you've been in film festivals and, mm-hmm. you know, won awards and been nominated for stuff that you didn't know. We were just talking about the other day. I had some nominations and had no idea. You know, it's kind of like, hey, okay, well, I need that to happen again, you know, and, and that, that kind of becomes the thought process instead of, okay, which is the better direction for this to go? You know, what needs to happen in order for this to go to the next step? You know, next level, forget about that next level. There's another level after that, too. So, you know, again, man, it's just cool, man. Thank you for what went wrong, man. (laughs) (laughs) So then after, after your premiere, after going through some festival circuits, then typically that's when you look for online distribution or distribution. And I, I just tell people don't even bother distribution anymore unless they're going to write you this big check up front. Yeah. Because if you get you, if you get a distributor nowadays, they're going to do the exact same thing you do. You can do. They're going to put it on Amazon, and they're going to take 50% Yeah, they're going to take your money. That. Yeah. Um, or they're just going to go to a place like Film Hub and, and submit where you could do that all by yourself. And because okay. Film Hub is great because you'll, they'll, they'll, they'll submit it to Amazon. They'll submit it to Binge TV and all the different little Roku platforms and everything. So it's a great hub for getting your film out there. And they'll handle it. Of course, they get their cut. Yeah. But, you know... If you go with the distributor, they're going to do the exact same thing and take the money, and they're going to take an even more percentage. Yeah. Um, so it really is at that point where it's just like you know you're going to make just as much money selling DVDs out of the back of your car or getting a website and selling your film online. You're going to make just as much, if not more, money from a distributor who's going to get a hundred and fifty dollar check from Amazon every month. And then take their fifty percent, and then send you thirty-five bucks out of that. Yeah. Wow. So it's 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 not that we're trying to get down on those kind of things and trying to discourage people, you know, filmmakers from doing that. But if you get a if you get a distributor who's going to pay you a check up front, here's fifteen thousand dollars for your film. Take it. Take it. Yeah. Twenty thousand dollars for your film. Take it. But when you see that thirty percent of net or seventy percent of net, or you know, you, we split this, no money up front, just do it yourself. Yeah, just wow. do it yourself. Um, now that you'll have to put more money in advertising and, yeah. and, and marketing and, and, and things like that yeah. yourself, but in the long run, you have it. That means five years from now, when you know there's a Hollywood movie about Francis Miller yeah. and everyone's looking for more stuff on Francis Miller. I still got the right. I can do whatever I want. Yeah. As yeah. opposed to our distributor with Bass Reeves, yeah. who you know Bass Reeves has gotten a lot of publicity recently. There always talks about Hollywood movies. I think there was one on Netflix or something. I can't do anything with it in the U.S. Right. because of the distributor, and the distributor has shelved it and doesn't want it. Isn't going to do anything. So wow. I've got to wait until 2024 to get my rights back before I can put it in the U.S. Wow. Um, so stuff, hold man. on to your film. You will not regret it if you maintain control. 